But then obviously, if you're dealing with fitness, but you're leaving out strength, you had led us naturally to this conclusion that, well, maybe the missing link is strength. And that's what you and I have been talking about all these years. Isn't it amazing that uh, that even has to be discussed? Uh, when, when the medical profession uh, talks about exercise, they mean minutes, number of minutes spent at an elevated heart rate. They never mean your deadlift. They right. they do not understand this, and the exercise physiology programs all over the country uh, just reinforce this. They reinforce this 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 lack. Well, you know, I've I've watched a lot of cardiac rehab being done, and so eighty percent of the time, eighty five percent of the time is spent on a treadmill. You know, walking yeah. towards a calculated ta- max heart rate, and then the end maybe some stretching some yoga or resistant bands. And the thing that I find inexplicable is that they may have them do some bicep curls or some isolated leg <laughs> extensions. You know, which, like, that's not going to help anyone, right? No, no. So since I've started working with you, I've been a big believer in strength. I mean, I tra- I've trained consistently for five years now. <clears throat> I think the last time I saw you, my squat was at a 355. A couple of months ago, I squatted 455. Yeah, deadlifted you, you, 545. You're looking good. So, you gained some gained some mass and your neck's nice yeah. and big and you got some traps. Look like a lifter now. Uh, yeah, no, it's I was looking at the old video. I was like, geez, I don't look this strong. No. Yeah, and no. I've gained weight for sure. I gained oh, yeah. about 30 pounds of mass. Oh yeah. You know? Look great. Um the, but I, I'll tell you uh, what, the, question the, is, the you thing know, that stands out in my mind from our last conversation about this on the podcast was the statement you made. That that's probably the most significant thing out of that, out of that podcast. And what what that was is, you said that by the time you get to cardiac rehab, I've already had your heart out of your chest, and I've and I've massaged it and cut on it and sewed on it and slapped it around and you know, it beat beat the piss out of your heart. And yet, you are afraid that you're going to do something to it that's going to make you die. Right? The hard part is over with because the surgery is over. That's right. And now it is time to make your heart do something that it previously wasn't able to do. And that requires a stress. And that was such an important thing to hear from um, a guy that has the experience of looking down into the chest cavity at where the heart lives every day and picking it up and messing around with it and putting it under a, what could only be considered to be a, a giant physical insult and then putting it back, sewing the damn thing back up and then understanding that that individual now has passed the bottom. That's the ultimate stress test. That's the ultimate stress test is living through heart surgery. Correct. And, and once that is happened, then there's nothing you can do to it on a treadmill that's going to do anything any worse than slapping it around on the operating thing. <laughs> it's, Right. I mean, I mean so, let's, so my let's just cut through right. the bullshit, and that was that was brilliant. 